I'm off to breakfast and I've been slowly watching um, the traffic go up. Well, not car traffic, but people traffic. It's starting to get really busy here. I'm at a Chinese theater. Um, it's 9.20 and um, I'm going to be going to uh, a breakfast place. Take you along. So we are on Hollywood Boulevard, heading to Sunset, and there's a, sun that, a sign that says Sunset to the left, and we're actually looking for Fairfax Street, and there, of course it's not going to focus, it's Fairfax. We're headed to Griddle Cafe. I'm here, it's called the Griddle, and it's super packed inside. So wait. Bananas baked in it with caramel and Christian salad. You want to take a picture? I'm not. I'm taking video. Oh. <laughs> Thanks so much. Do you drink start up? Uh, yeah. Do you have a latte? I have a latte. Thanks so much. Okay. Um, I keep daily vlogs. Oh my god. You guys want miles or less? I got my leftovers. Um, I'm walking down Sunset. Okay, that's another thing. There is a large amount of healthy people around here, which is very, very inspiring. Okay, so I am walking down Sunset um, instead of Hollywood because I want to get a a different view on the way back. I was sitting next to two lovely, lovely people at breakfast. Um, and they suggested I take a Hollywood Starline tour, which I might. Like even inside the restaurant, a lot of people were in workout gear. So I'm blending in with the locals even without trying. Very exciting. That's the other thing about LA. It's not very clean. Still on sunset. A really cute sign I'm noticing. West Hollywood Presbyterian Church. Love is never wrong. And little known facts. Little. Pierce people pray. Tattoo people go to church. Christian doesn't mean narrow minded. Amen. I'm so excited. I've been looking for a pink berry because I've never been to one. And here we are on the corner of Fuller and Sunset, and there's a pink berry. Very, very excited. It's closed. I'm so disappointed, and their working hours, 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. Aren't we 11 a.m.? Okay. We are 11 a.m. It's 11.20, why aren't they open? Very upset.
was Dean's home, 1955. He had come back to the house after filming scenes from the movie. Oh, you can do better than that. Come on. Don't be No pressure. He's cheating. That's got to be it. Oh, knock him off. Good job, guys. Anyway, James Dean returned to the house. From Texas after filming scenes from the Root Giant. On September 30th, 1955, he loaded up his Porsche, it's quite a convertible, and uh, along with the driver, he headed up to the northern part of California to take part in an auto race. <laughs> Just outside the central. Very popular for filming. Commercials, television productions, and feature films have used this area over the years. Next week up ahead, Orange Grove Avenue. Also, very popular street for filming. As we get ready to make our left turn, look down the street here, the elm trees. That's where they actually film scenes from Nightmare on Elm Street. The gray and white. Michael Myers, there he is up there. Aren't? No, that's not him. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Michael Myers is not too far behind Laura as she runs across the street, screaming to the house over here on the left, the balcony. Once inside this house, remember, she runs upstairs and hides in the bedroom. But that's where Michael Myers finds her. Before he can do too much damage, though, Dr. Loomer shows. some time relaxing. It's four o'clock and it's almost time for the halftime show. Okay, is it just me or is Fergie getting butchered with her audio? And apparently Usher is part of this too. Have I been the only one out of the loop? You know what? It, Fergie's microphone was not screwed up because Usher is on the beat. So pretty much Fergie sucks live as is being proven by Usher at this very moment. They won't let me lift up the mirror. Late night CBS run. Looking for the Tylenol in a tube pain reliever. I wonder if they have it because we don't have it in Canada. in the wrong section. Oh, I found it. Tylenol. Precise. 